That's my boy Elvis. Whoa, the king. That was my friend Hugh Jarrett right there. He's a guitar player. Brings back lots of memories, wow. My mother thought it was shocking. My father said he ruined music. Thought he was a gorgeous looking man. This most beautiful man I ever saw in my life. Handsome. All you need to do is move. Look at that. Oh, 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 I love you, Elvis. Makes you want to dance. Too. Yeah, you know what I like. It's good stuff. Good stuff. Thank you very much. You ain't nothing. Shake it, but don't break it. What you call a hot patootie. <laughs> Do you know, way, way back then, I didn't like him. He was so different than anyone we had ever seen. Oh, comeback special. I'd break out too. The young girls just went crazy over it. Still looking great. I like the black leather. It's just one big pile of testosterone. My parents blamed him for everything I did wrong. Their soul. More people should study him. He's a great entertainer. He had it all. Movements, voice, everything. <sighs> I'm all shook up. <laughs> you wanted us to feel young, right? Oh, she's got... Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love this song. Elvis was really something. He was pretty cool. <sighs> Still feel the same? Yes. I mean, I just love Elvis. So do you... Remember the first time you saw Elvis? First time I saw him was on Ed Sullivan's show. I just was taken to him right away. I just, wow, something really different. The minute he came on screen, I was just like, I just had never seen or heard anything like that, even at that young age. I didn't like his voice. I thought it was shocking the way he moved. And now I like him, because now he's mild. <laughs> I remember my mom saying, this, this young man here was coming in with evil music just evil. Women were so enamored with him that it pissed me off. I was, I, I was actually jealous of his popularity. For viewers who might not realize just how big of a celebrity was Elvis. I think everyone in the world knew who, him. He was a big money drawer. That's all you could hear, Harley, was Elvis music. It was the start of this big rock and roll thing. I was in the music business. It was very hard to sell your own records because Elvis Presley was probably 60 to 70 percent of the market. He just took over and changed the world literally, which very few people in history have done. That whole celebrity culture of why we adore celebrities, he just was the first one to do that. He was huge. He was the biggest artist in the universe. The other thing that's interesting is that it seems to be always the younger generation that picks up on it because it's different. They don't want to be like their parents. What did parents and grandparents think of Elvis when he showed up? Oh my goodness. I mean, there there were, I mean, he was banned in Boston. You enjoyed it? How could you enjoy that? They thought it was terrible music. They didn't think it was music at all, actually. We were all going to turn into these, you know, juvenile delinquents. They were called juvenile delinquents back then. Oh, it's shocking. Look at what he moves. No decent man does that. They should see what's going on now. <laughs> There was a real cry 
for get rid of this music. Uh, it's ruining our children. Same thing is true with rap now. Did you ever get to see Elvis perform live? I never saw him in person, I don't think. Oh yes, at the, it was at the Hilton in Vegas. I went to see Elvis in Las Vegas. The maitre d' said, we have one seat right up front. There's certain rules, you know, you can't stand up, you can't reach for him. They have this big buildup that takes about 15 minutes before he actually comes on stage. The intensity is like so intense, the anticipation, that when he finally gets and walks out, every girl in that row stood up and started reaching for him, including me. <laughs> what did uh, teenage girls do when they saw Elvis? Oh, it's not swooning, that stupid. Throw their panties at him. <laughs> we all remember that. Screamed and hollered. I don't ever remember doing that. They were hysterical. It was before Beatlemania, which I participated in that too. They screamed, they reached for him, and if they could have, they would have ripped his clothes off. Being that excited about another person is sort of like more of like a fantasy. Real life is not like that. I don't mean to get so emotional, but you begin to accept that you look at life much more realistically. You can't really buy into the fantasy. There's a legend that when Elvis was on TV, they started zooming in to not show him from the waist down. Why was he so controversial? Because he let it all hang out. He, he didn't care. He just wanted to perform and be who he was. Well, at that time, you know, you didn't do things like that. It was sexual, and you, you didn't want to provoke people. In those days, they didn't show you any sexual movements. Dancers did not do sexual movements like they do now with the hoochie cooch and, and the butt dances. This was before the 60s when we had the hippie movement and free love, and Sex was really not really talked about. We didn't used to have sex until we got married. Here's a guy that looks like he's having, <laughs> having sex standing up all by himself. You talk about him in his later years and how his career evolved and what people thought of him in his later career. The shame of it is he fell on drugs. If he hadn't done that, he'd probably still be living. I think I really became sad when I saw how he looked in his later life. He was kind of a sad figure, I think. He was kind of pitied. He got a little bit of a joke, but the way he started dressing with the gaudy clothes. Everybody may be toys with the idea of being that powerful, that wealthy, that uh, charismatic. It's a very lonely life, I'll just bet you. I mean, look how he ended up. Do you remember it being a big deal when he died? He was only 42 years old when he died. It was a big deal when he died. Like, sort of like Michael Jackson now. Lost the star. Everybody was saddened and couldn't believe it. And a lot of them still don't believe it. Thousands of people went to Graceland. Thousands of people. I was driving down Franklin Avenue, west on Franklin Avenue. And then it came over the radio and I had to pull over the car. I couldn't drive. You don't tend to think that the people that you look up to uh, especially celebrities are ever gonna go. This year is actually the 60th anniversary of Elvis's first major commercial single. 60 years. Wow. How does that make you feel? It goes by real fast, kids. I can't believe 60 years. I know you wouldn't lie to me. It doesn't seem possible. How did that happen? I was 16 yesterday. Time flies, you know, just, it's gone. The perception as you get older, everything begins to come in close. I don't mind being how old I am. I just mind having less time left. It's weird. I think of myself as 25, 35, 45. And sometimes I look in the mirror and I realize, oh, I am 65. Last question, what would you say to young people about why they should know about Elvis? Because it's part of the history and how rock and roll started. The music was fabulous. I mean, his songs were great for the early rock and roll period. He is the godfather of rock and roll. He started it, he made it what it was. People loved Elvis. It was a sincere feeling. It was almost godlike. Thank you so much for watching this session of Elders React. Hey, have you subscribed to the new React channel yet? There's new shows every week. Vera has left the building.